All right. So the last function that we need to implement is to get the rating of the stock. So we need to find out which ranking does this stock have in comparison with the other stocks uh, when we take into account the current year's dividends and the asking price of the stock. And that means that inside of here, in the determine ranking, we need to have access to the entire stocks array. And we need to sort the stocks array based on um, the amount or the calculation of the stock dividend and the asking price times asking price split on a thousand. So that's the formula. And then we need to find out where our stock is in this array. So if you think about it, when we sort that array, um, our stocks will be placed from a zero based index. So one stock will be at index zero, uh, one will be at index one, one will be at index two. And so if we have an array where those are sorted, then we can loop over that array and we can match the current stock we're at in that array. And then we can grab the index and just add one to it. So it'll look something like this. Uh, we'll go over the stocks and we'll map the stock item um, and we'll take that stock item oops just make sure it's counted and we'll take that stock item and uh, we'll check um, stock item and the index and if the stock item ticker is equal to the stock dot ticker. Remember the stock is the item that's actually passed into this um, highlights function. So that's the current stock. And if those match, then we wanna grab the index plus one. All right, so let's focus on actually uh, getting the stocks in here. And then we'll take a look at how we can sort it. And then we'll, we'll grab the, uh, we'll implement the matching algorithm afterwards. So let's start by going to stock view and we'll pass stocks into our highlights. And we'll say const sorted. And now we need to create a new function. But we have done a fair bit of sorting before. And we created a general sorting function. So we'll reuse some of the code that we've written before just to keep it all dry and make our lives a little bit easier. So we want to say sorted. And that's equal to a function that we're going to call sort by best dividend payout value. And we'll pass in the stocks. So let's see. need to accept that in here and I think we'll remove this for now and um, we'll, I think we'll also go through this and see if we can make this a little bit cleaner uh, once we're done with this function so uh, sort by dividend payout value we'll put that in our helpers file so we have 
export const sort by dividend. Uh, we'll keep that um, naming convention sort stocks by and we'll make sure to update this here. And that's gonna take in the stocks and we'll return sort stocks and we'll say stocks and the function will be calculate dividend payout value. Now we don't have this function, so we need to create it. So we'll say calculate dividend payout value. And what we want to do is we want to grab the year. And we want to have the stock. And we're going to grab the equals stock. Dividends and year, and the dividend we're going to have to calculate an amount. So the calculation is going to be it's going to be the dividend times thousand split on the stock dot ask and then we'll return the total so that'll be the sorting uh, value so based if you spend a thousand uh, kroners then based on the asking price of the stocks you will get x amount of shares and we're going to multiply that by the dividend payout to figure out which stock has the highest dividend payout for the price. So uh, basically this is to maximize um, the payouts that you would get if you were to buy a stock. So uh, right now we have created a new function called sort stocks by dividend payout value and we're going to import that into our determine ranking so let's go to the top here remove this and we'll say sort stocks by dividend payout value and we'll make sure that we import that and then uh, let's go ahead and implement this function here. So we can actually just remove the the comments and we want to let's see we're not gonna map, we're gonna for each and we're gonna say that result uh, equals zero, and then we're gonna say result equals index plus one. And now we'll return a ranking object inside an array. And the object's going to be of type ranking. And we'll go ahead and we'll grab the text from sketch. And what we want to do is we want to swap out the ranking here with the result. All right. So let's go ahead and see what we get. All right. So we're getting zero here, 
which is not exactly 100% correct. So we'll go ahead and we'll start our debugging process. So let's see, what is sorted? And so sorted is an array of five. And let's go ahead and see. So if the stock item ticker equals the stock dot ticker, let's see what happens in here. And we're not getting there. So something's wrong with our comparison. So let's go ahead and check the stock item ticker and the stock ticker just to see what we're comparing. All right, so stock dot ticker is undefined. Interesting. So let's see what stock actually is. And yeah, that makes sense because we are actually plugging in the dividends into our get highlights. So what we need to do is we need to pass in the entire stock and then we need to do stock.dividends, stock.dividends. And here we want to pass the stock. And we need to accept that here. All right. So now we are getting the correct result, I believe. So here we have the fourth rank and if we go back and we go here, this is the first and you can see we have a problem with uh, our spelling here, but let's not worry for that, that for now. Let's just actually remove this. And yeah, I think that's about it. So we're now able to dynamically determine the ranking based on our data set, which is great. So uh, in the last or the next video, we're going to just clean some of this up and um, maybe refactor a little bit before we go on to the next component. All right, so I'll see you there.